patients so again coming to the uh, second ppt so in earlier uh, first ppt i explained you about uh, the why what is the importance of uh, fm and why we want to study and okay so and uh, i given also the introduction to syllabus okay so here uh, in this ppt i am going to tell you about the base impo very important question this okay what are the basic steps involved in fm okay to solve the numerical problems okay so here we are going to take any fm problems okay these are the six steps you are going to use to solve the numerical problems okay so i told you what you mean by finite element method so it is a numerical method okay so first we are going to divide the given element into a small pieces or region okay that region we are going to call as the what the element okay uh, so here it is a numerical okay it is a numerical method to solve the engineering complex problem okay that is complex even sometime uh, the uh, what the physics problems okay Com complex geometries okay those problems related to, to what the material loading boundary condition okay if you solve numer uh, very simple then this subject is called uh, okay if you solve by using this tool that is what finite element method okay just to under understand that um, the finite element method is a numerical method to solve a engineering complex problem subject to, to a what the material boundary condition loading okay is called as finite element method otherwise it is a what it is a numerical technique okay which is used to perform the finite element analysis for a given physical phenomenon that is fission given complex problem with the help of software called as what uh, in our lab we are going to use uh, ANSYS okay it is the definition of finite element method okay now the question is this question is very important okay every semester this question may ask you in the university okay that is what explain what is we define the FEM and what are the basic steps involved in FEM okay that is how we are going to solve the numerical problems with the help of this FEM tool okay so here there are six uh, steps are there to solve a numerical method of the finite element method okay first one is what the discretization of the given body or element or structure or problem okay this is the first step of finite element method okay discretization is the first uh, step and the second one is selection of a displacement uh, function okay and the third step is the derivation of a element stiffness matrix okay and the fourth one is what the assemble of algebraic equation for the overall discretized body okay with the help of some formulas okay and apply the boundary condition and finally you are going to calculate what the stress strain displacement and reaction okay so in the fm subject almost uh, 99 90 percent is almost all the problems you are going to calculate only these four factors okay stress that is sigma strain uh, strain displacement i am going to use here notation u and reaction that is what capital r reaction is the support or point okay so these are the different uh, six uh, steps involved in finite element method let me understand one by one okay what do you mean by discretization process and what do you mean by selection of displacement model function and derivation of es it is shortly called as what esm okay capital esm esm means what element stiffness matrix it is denoted by matrix k okay and assemble of algebraic equation for the overall discretization body that is the fourth step okay with the help of uh, formulae and 515 to apply boundary condition to calculate what the last step that is stress strain displacement reaction okay let me understand one by one now okay okay so here uh, the first step okay the discretization means what to divide the given element okay to divide the given element to a small pieces in the ANSYS okay that is step number one I hope you understand this discretization mean discretization means to divide the given element okay the first step of finite element method is to divide the given element into a small region are called as element okay let me understand this diagram okay so this is a very big sheet so let us assume that this is a plane sheet okay uh, our aim is to find the stress for the given plane okay the first step is what to divide the element okay so we have to divide the small uh, the given to divide the given plate into small pieces okay this dividing fashion this uh, dividing structure may be any type either triangular or what uh, rectangular whatever that point level okay whatever that okay depending upon the given uh, up that uh, what uh, custom that is what given person okay uh, here i am going to divide this uh, small pieces into a small uh, element uh, here uh, we are going to get what the triangle we, we got the shape okay we have divided the all element in the form of what triangle okay so here like the triangle element okay this is a large big plate so this is a large big plate we are going to divide that into a small pieces okay so here this first step we are going to calculate okay the same triangle i drawn here okay this side okay so each node how many degree of freedom will be there okay for the triangle is a 2d element okay here how many elements will be there for the triangle one two 
थ्री ओके बट ईच नोट टू टू डिग्री ऑफ फ्रीडम मीस ईच नोट हैविंग ए टू डिग्री ऑफ फ्रीडम ओके टू डी एलिमेंट मीन टू डिग्री ऑफ फ्रीडम ओके वन इज अलॉन्ग एक्स वन मोर इज अलॉन्ग वाई सो यू वी आई डिनोटेड एज यू वन एंड वाई इज डिनोटेड एज वी वन ओके सो सिमिलरली यू टू वी टू यू थ्री वी थ्री ओके सो द फ्रॉम दिस वी आर गोइंग टू डिवाइड द एलिमेंट एंड विच टाइप ऑफ एलिमेंट यू आर गेटिंग एंड हाउ मेनी डिग्री ऑफ फ्रीडम विल बी देर फॉर एच नोट दैट वी आर गोइंग टू अंडरस्टैंड बाई यूजिंग स्टेप नंबर वन दैट इज डिस्क्रिटाइजिंग ऑफ द गिवन बॉडी ओके दिस अबाउट द फर्स्ट स्टेप आई होप यू अंडरस्टैंड ओके सेकेंड स्टेप इज वॉज सेलेक्शन ऑफ ए डिस्प्लेसमेंट मॉडल ओके वन इफ यू डिवाइड द गिवन एलिमेंट ओके द सेकेंड स्टेप इज टू सेलेक्ट द मॉडल ओके सो वेदर इट इज विच टाइप ऑफ एलिमेंट और हाउ वट इज द ऑर्डर ऑफ द फंक्शन द मटेरियल द मॉडल सेलेक्टेड शुड भी वेदर इट इज ए गिव ए स्पेसिफिक मैग्नीट्यूड और वॉट ओके आल दोज थिंग्स यू हैव टू अब्जर्व इन द सेकेंड स्टेप दट इज वॉट सेलेक्शन ऑफ डिस्प्लेसमेंट मॉडल विद हेल्प ऑफ टू बाई यूजिंग टू टेक्निक दट इज वॉट पॉलिनोमियल फंक्शन एंड ट्रिग्नोमेट्री फंक्शन बट प्रेजेंट डे द पॉलिनोमियल फंक्शन आर वाइडली यूज ओके सो वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व बाई यूजिंग दिस पॉलिनोमियल फंक्शन नॉट फॉर दिस ट्रिग्नोमेट्री फंक्शन ओके सो इफ यू सॉल्व न्यूमेरिकल प्रॉब्लम मीन यू विल अंडरस्टैंड ओके सो सेकेंड स्टेप इज वॉट टू अंडरस्टैंड विच टाइप ऑफ एलिमेंट ओके एंड द ऑर्डर ऑफ द फंक्शन एंड द मॉडल सेलेक्शन शुड भी ए स्पेसिफिक मैग्नीट्यूड और वॉट ओके द डिस्प्लेसमेंट मॉडल सेलेक्टेड शुड भी सर्टिफाइ द सम सर्टन कंडीशन ओके दट इज कॉल एस कन्वर्जेंस क्राइटेरिया ओके ऑल दीज थ्री फैक्टर्स शुड भी नो बाई यूजिंग द सेकेंड स्टेप ओके सो फर्स्ट स्टेप इज वॉट टू डिवाइड द गिवन एलिमेंट सेकेंड स्टेप इज वॉट टू अंडरस्टैंड विच टाइप ऑफ द एलिमेंट इट इज अ How many degree of freedom will be there? That using polynomial function. Okay, we are going to use this polynomial function or trigonometric function. Okay, so this is little complicated by as compared to this. So hence we are going to use this. Okay, now, this is about the second step. Okay, third step is what we got here. Uh, the third step is what derivation for element stiffness matrix. Okay, to calculate the ESM. ESM it is shortly called as ESM. Okay, that is what element stiffness matrix. Okay, once if you divide the given element, you have to calculate the each element of the derivation of element stiffness matrix. Okay, each element you have to calculate the stiffness. What is the stiffness of that particular element? Okay, with the help of formula called as what k is k into u is equal to f. You have to write in this fashion only. Okay, matrix k is equal to this capital D u and f. Okay, where k stands for what element stiffness matrix and u stands for what the modal displacement. Okay, in different textbook different notations are using uh, the displacement, but I am using u is a displacement. Okay, so f is what Nodal force, or already shortly called as force. Okay, I hope you understand this. Okay, this again K is formula is different, U formula is different, F formula is be different. Okay, while solving our problem, you are going to solve that. Okay, so K just to remember that once if you divide the element, you have to calculate the element stiffness matrix for each element that you understand by using this formula. That is K U is equal to F. This is the third step. Okay. Now coming to the fourth step, so assemble the algebraic equation of the overall discretized body. Okay, so here what you are calculated element stiffness matter for each element, you have to combine all those things. That is what the fourth step. That is assemble of algebraic equation of the overall discretized body. That is each element you combine, you are going to get a global stiffness matrix. Okay, so here this method involves the uh, determination that is what calculating the global stiffness matrix and global force factor with the help of F is equal to K U same formula. Okay, where K is equal to global force factor. Okay, and uh, where K is equal to what global stiffness matrix F is equal to global force factor and U is equal to nodal displacement. Okay, so here the fourth step is what to assemble all the element stiffness matrix which gives the global stiffness matrix. Okay. So fifth step is what if you want to calculate the stress strain of a particular given plate, then you need to use two techniques. Go and then you apply the boundary condition. Okay. Okay. That to find the nodal displacement, we have to apply the approximate boundary condition or apply to the global equation. Okay. What to calculate the global stiffness equation? You have to apply the some boundary condition using two techniques. One is elimination method and one more is penalty method. Okay. So elimination method means we are going to eliminate to rearrange that particular problem and penalty means we are going to add some uh, values to the particular matrix and rearrange that we are going to get the solution. Okay. These are the two different method. Okay. We are going to solve penalty method problem also uh, elimination method problem also. So okay, so once if you uh, apply the boundary condition, then finally you are going to get what calculate the stress strain reaction by using these two method. Okay, already you know the stress formula. Stress is equal to what force by unit area. Strain also what I reaction force. What is the using? What is the reaction? Okay, with the help of uh, formula, you are going to calculate what the stress strain reaction of the given problem. Okay. So like that, you, these are the some basic different. That is what basic steps involved in finite element method. Okay, this diagram also I shown in the uh, chart. Okay, so first one is what selection of the geometry model. That is what selection first to select the model. That is the problem and discretize the problem. That is divide into small pieces. Okay, selection of the approximate shape function. 
okay have to choose the polynomial function okay and next one is develop the finite element equation that is a calculate the element stiffness matrix again next one is calculate the assemble uh, element stiffness matrix that is a global stiffness matrix then you apply the boundary condition then finally you are going to get the result okay like this uh, this is the flow chart will be there to explain the basic steps involved in fm okay just to remember uh, from this okay what are the basic six steps involved means what these are the six steps first one is discretization means divide the given element second one is the selection of displacement model that is to understand the which type of element order and selected selection of the model is a specific or what that you have to understand uh, what in the second step the third one is what derivation of element stiffness matrix okay each divided element you need to calculate the esm okay fourth step is fourth step is what assemble the all the uh, overall discretization body that is uh, global stiffness matrix you are going to get and then finally apply the boundary condition you are going to get what stress strain displacement reaction of the given particular problem these are the basic six steps involved in finite element method to solve any numerical problems of finite element method okay so uh, you have to this is very important okay in every what in every year that is what in every year this question may ask you what do you mean by finite element method and what are the basic steps involved in finite element method explain and okay you have to explain these three things okay finite element method it is a finite element method is a numerical technique which is used to perform the finite element analysis of any given complex problem or the finite element method is a numerical method for solving the problems of engineering and mathematical complex uh, problem uh, those problems subject to what some condition that is what some boundary condition that what material loading boundary condition okay is called as finite uh, element method okay so i hope you understand these are the six basic steps involved in finite element method okay mm, thank you